we have created this workflow as a part of uh, dynamic workflows so what what can we do other than just submitting the form is we can also create an appointment and also we can schedule the appointment and when the appointment is scheduled respective person will get an email as well as an appointment scheduled in his own character provided with his email so here we have a right. name uh, so part let's give your name details yeah part doshi part doshi so since i'm using my outlook i will give my outlook details but uh, right. here we can use something like uh, again this can be scheduled in the future so let's schedule it at 9 uh, at 7th and yeah. we can use am and pm and it can be 6 pm right and uh, 6 pm we 6 can have it and in the hour appointment duration we can schedule it for either 1 hour or half an hour or 2 hours 2 hours yeah. so that's fine and let's give a number and Okay, so what are the uh, problems you are facing? Yeah, severe fever. Okay. Yeah. And along with that, can I write a lung problem as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine then. Uh, let's give a email ID. Email ID. Yeah. So here we can configure our own email ID also when. implementing so this is the patient email id which uh, we are trying to write now right now so the email that is sent is with the outlook so whatever outlook is configured in your uh, in your machine the email and appointment will be sent using that right right okay so as and also one more thing is uh, we also have a appointments list uh, that will be generated let me open it and show you so here i have already added one detail uh, which i have already registered let's see if we can add one more so yes. okay uh, we have this one okay let's book an appointment for you yeah so these so are the details. the details of the patient exactly so if you have yeah. whatever the issue you have will have it and the time as well what will be the start time and what will be the end time of the meeting along with that we will have uh, the details with the duration as well right, and, right. Uh, so with having this let's see let's delete this keeping uh, appointment details as values okay so if we see here let's go and check with my calendar so i have scheduled this at 7th and this is scheduled here if you see appointment is scheduled and we can also see what are the details like uh, if we want to mention the location as well for now this is some location which is a basic value but here we can have a doctor or a yeah uh, so it can be configured according to the clinic like wherever we are booking the appointment exactly this can be completely configurable and also yeah. we'll uh, we'll also say that uh, the confirmation with what clinic and also the time and what are the issues that they are going to discuss during the meeting so using this maybe a person who is already uh, working or uh, maybe someone who have already visited they need not worry about uh, the details they will be reminded in their email directly so here uh, let's give some other person let's say that it's we have cg which is the name uh, right now i'm giving my own name but uh, what we can do is we can give it on 6th and we have a timing we can schedule it for so i have given 10 yeah. minutes yeah i have given 10 minutes as the stepper time so if i want to schedule it at uh, 12:40 we can schedule it and let's give my email id right and let's give my mobile number yeah and so this is a new number also okay. just change the appointment duration like okay let's say that the appointment duration can be 2 hour maybe right. uh, this can be a uh, operation yeah so operation takes some time so this can be operation requirement or it can be a covid 19 test also maybe yeah covid 19 test let's book it so what exactly happens is when you submit this form this cre clears all the data and though it submits the data the form will be cleared on its own it wrote the values 
Okay, the form is clear and it's fresh. We submit the form. No need to open it again. Right. Okay, so let's see with so the yeah appointment yes. Excel file. Yeah, we have appointment Excel file with new details, uh, with operation or something, and with the duration as well. And let's see with the timing. We have scheduled it for sixth May. So we have scheduled. Yeah, your appointment is scheduled. Maybe we can, if we want to change the for subject even, we can change the subject. Like right, uh, right. if you, your instead of appointment is scheduled, uh, you can, can also. That. We can also update whatever the requirement we have. So this right, is completely right. customizable. And yeah, here it is with all the new details.